Doi Khan Thailand. Here we go. Christian, Paul, and myself all went out for a little bit of a smash up Doi Khan. First time I've really done the climb full gas, so we did a little recon before, and I did, I've done it before. We didn't really hit it that hard on this part. On these roads, we could have come in at like 40, 45. Um, so I think next time I do it, I'm, I'm, if I do it, I'll probably do it on my own. Uh, I'll just rail this part. So anyway, it was a good result. Interesting to see how I compare it to Paul and John Ebsen. So Paul's on the front here. I don't really go follow his wheel that much. Then had to do a huge surge up to like 700 watts to get back on his wheel. So I was basically like planning just to hold his wheel and see how strong Paul is. I, I was pretty sure it was going to get dropped. Like, but I knew it would, would be close. So anyway, we're going up here. This climb doesn't seem very hard, 1k, 8%. When I, when I saw that, I was like, why, is it, why does everyone even go on about it? And to be honest, it's not that crazy. Like, there's ramps of up to 20%, but basically the first half is like 11%, and the second half is like 5% or something. So around here, Paul just absolutely zooms off here. I mess up my gearing here. And this is pretty much when Paul goes away. So Paul's flying out here. I'm, I'm sort of in two minds if I want to chase him. And I think around this corner, I end up getting back on his wheel, but never really. And after that, Paul basically just kept on uh, pulling away from me more and more. Um, so at the bottom of the screen, you should be able to see the comparison for the time difference. Uh, it reaches, I think, the biggest gap is he's like 12 or 13 seconds ahead, um, and we finish about eight seconds apart. Um, but anyway, so for the first minute, I held like 490 watts, which is quite bad. And the problem is, I think, because I accelerated around that corner, that massively increased my watts. So it was not great. So Paul probably didn't actually, he doesn't have a power meter on, unfortunately, at this moment in time. But he probably didn't do that many more watts than me, just because he, when he came around that corner, he had smooth power, while I really had to surge out. But anyway, around this part, 16%, 15K an hour, that, that's always a good sign. So I was holding 400 up here. My goal was to hold like 400 to 420. That was more or less what I knew I could hold um, because I've held around 400 for five minutes before and I was, I was relatively fresh. Obviously, like the humidity and heat, it takes a bit of time to get used to. I don't find it that bad, but obviously like not great. Anyway, here I just, this is where I actually lose all my time. Like literally just on this section here, I'm just like holding 330 here, like 270 there. I carry no momentum into this, and you can just see Paul's just going away. Um, and on the on, on the time below, you'll see that suddenly that I look, get a lot further away from him. And on this bit here, I really just did die on that flat bit. On the climb itself, again, this bit, look, you can really see now that the, the gap is just going out quite a lot. Uh, I mean, you can just sort of tell that I wasn't really... I don't know what it was. I just on this part, I think I just went out too hard. Like my overall watts were fine, but I think I just went out way too hard. So it just meant on this, but I, like I had to gradually slow down my watts. Like I'm not going to be able to hold 490 watts for four minutes or three. I mean, if I hold 490 watts, I do it in like three minutes straight or something. But like, I'd have to. I, like, I knew I had to slowly get it down. But like, I think at some points I definitely could have gone a bit harder. But at the top, I was absolutely gone. Like I just felt so dreadful. Uh, not not great at all um it took me a long time to recover i haven't really done any vo2 max efforts for well ages maybe adelaide was the last time i did it so i think punchy efforts i'm not too bad maybe sub two minutes because i've done some racing but these efforts i literally haven't done anything like it anyway here i was trying to click up the gears but just didn't work um so that's why the watts dropped around here at this corner but anyway that is pretty much most of the climb it did reach about 21 percent at that point which is pretty steep and this this point from this point on you've got a little ramp here and most of it's pretty flat from now so it's just like stomping on the gear as much as possible just trying to get as much power out as you can so like on this bit here i sort of when it gets to 10 percent, you really do need to just add more power because you're just not going as fast so the air resistance isn't as important but on the flatter parts there's no point like if you paced this climb and did 400 watts from the bottom to the top, you wouldn't get a far, you'd get a slower time than if you ramped your watts on the steep stuff and did slightly less watts on the um, on the flatter stuff. Even if your average watts were less, you'd still go faster just because the air resistance means that it's like if you increase your power, it's not actually proportional um, because air resistance is proportional to the square of speed, so v squared. Therefore, you actually need to like the air resistance goes up massively with increasing uh, speed. So anyway, around this part, still feeling pretty good, to be honest. I was like, oh, not too bad, not too bad. I'm getting pulled, getting pulled back. And I did close a couple seconds down here. I think I closed, I think I closed three seconds on this flat part. Uh, but anyway, it was a real good climb. Like, I was gone at the end. Unfortunately, my heart rate's still not working. I'm, I'm going to try to sort that out because I do quite like having a bit of heart rate data. And on this bit here, I was like, all right, this is the end. I knew this climb pretty well. Surged up to 500. I should have really just held 500 all the way, but I was being a bit too, too soft. Um, but yeah, it's a great climb. My goal is 350. Can we get it? We did a 407 today, so 17 seconds. I think I might be able to get it at the end. I don't know, we'll see. I feel like my bike's probably mugging me off a couple seconds, um, just because the, the rear wheel feels absolutely useless. Uh, and then going in faster, that's probably like two or three seconds. So that's already five seconds plus. I need to do some more training. But anyway, there we go. I'll post all the stats at the end, 407, 407 watts for about four minutes and nine seconds. So cheers for watching.
and I'll see you in the next video.